So in the previous video we said that we wanted to do more street food video and it's exactly what we're gonna do right now. But I got pretty sick yesterday, I lost my voice and I don't have any taste of food so I'm not going to be in this video, I'm going to stay behind the camera. I think it's better like that, yeah. So we're gonna go to a market called Ok Dao and it's a market specialized in seafood and I'm craving for that. I heard about this place a few months ago and now that we are in Saigon there is no way I'm gonna miss it. So let's go have a look there. So we left the main road and now we are in a really really calm little street kind of Saigon street that we love really cute full of flowers and trees and I think we're gonna be there really soon if I didn't lose myself I think we are good we made it and I'm super excited <laughs> I would like to have a mix of everything but I think it's going to be pretty hard because there is a lot of choice how much is it for one uh, only one 25. for one okay I take one I just order a few bunch of dishes, something like four or five. I don't really know what is it, and they are all coming in the same time, and everything look better than the other one. Wow. There is some shell and some other shell with peanuts on it, and a lot of green onion. Everything looks so good. This one there is like some Vietnamese sauce on it, and they bring me that also. It's supposed to be toots. Ink. So that's a translation that I arrived to get from them. It's pretty hard to understand exactly what it is. But I'm going to try right now. Oh yeah, I'm going to forget. They also bring me a baguette. Pretty fresh and pretty crusty. So the guy told me you just have to dip it into the sauce. <laughs> what? Okay, that's really spicy. And those Toots are just, they are just like so crispy into my toots, they're just like and the sauce is really 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 sugary. Thank you sir. Mm. Mm. Really good. I have so much to eat I don't know where to begin. So I put that Understood. Okay, cool. Thank you. He's giving me some tips because when you don't know nothing about it, you know, you don't want to miss. So there is like, I think it's vinegar, really sugary. Wow. Mm. It's like so tender, so tasty. The sauce is sugary, a bit of pepper, salt and chili pepper and that's wow, just an explosion into my mouth. The shell with the nuts on it, it's called so long. So I'm trying to say it with a Vietnamese accent, it's pretty hard because it's exactly the same writing than in English, so long, but that's pretty small. Sorry for this joke, but, mm. oh that's really good, I love it so much. And, it's not finished, I ordered two other things and it's not for me but it's coming really soon. So that's a scallop and I can't wait to try that. I'm gonna add just some chili paper, some salt and paper, and maybe just some lemon. Mm. Wow, that's so good, everything is absolutely delicious. The scallop is like so tender, perfectly cooked. You know what, the sauce on it, it tastes a bit like blue cheese. And I don't really know what is it, but I'm pretty sure it's a cheese, kind of strong one. Mmm, it's a pure happiness happening in my mouth right now. Mmm. 
Mm. Let's be honest, all of those dishes are a bit more pricey than what you can eat on the street, like um, a soup pho or banh mi or um, a bobun, for example, because it's seafood. And seafood is always a bit more expensive. But the price are still pretty okay for seafood. And now I think it's time for me to try the monster. Yeah, let's try that. So I have here exactly the same for than we got in our country. I have no idea about the size of this thing. That's a masterpiece, I think. Wow. But am I putting some chili pepper on it? Just a bit. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely fantastic. It's a bit chewy. So for the one who don't like chewiness, like Christina, would not be happy with it. Me, I have absolutely no problem with that. It's pretty good. Mm. And there is like a sugary sauce on it. I will not say that there is garlic. There is a lot of spring onion. It's not spicy and it's really, really good. Mm, a big yes for this one. I did it by myself. I just finished four dishes. It was not that heavy and that much. And I think that the Vietnamese food have a lot to offer. And I hope we're gonna be able to try a lot of other kind of things during our months here. So moment of truth, uh, how much it's going to cost those three beers and four dishes. 311, 311,000 dong. So this Vietnamese seafood experience is finished. I really had an amazing time. I'm so happy that I could try all of those uh, dish because they are not really uh, famous if you are not trying to look for them. So don't be scared to lose yourself in Saigon or in Vietnam in general. And it's like that that you will find a lot of little uh, kind of weird and different dish that you are used to see in the street. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, we're gonna do more about them and Christina will be back I think soon because uh, now she's a bit in pain, but don't blame her. So see you on the next one my friend, bye.